Hi, I'm Michael with Active Galactic Videos, and today we're going to be creating a comet. While comets may not get as much attention as planets or stars, you may have them to thank for life on Earth. So let's begin. The first step in creating a comet is to make sure you have all the right ingredients. So what we have is some water, rocks and dust, window cleaner, flour, and finally some dry ice. While all these things sound a little weird because they are, all of them have something in them that is also in comets. So the first thing we need to add is some water, as water ice makes up about 40% of comets. Now, comets are so far away from the sun that they're completely frozen because they're so far away. Because of that, the water is in the form of ice. Now, in that ice is a little bit of ammonia, and here we've got ammonia in the form of window cleaner. Next, we need to add some rocks and dust, which make up about half of a comet. One of the most spectacular parts of a comet is the tail, which forms as the comet approaches the sun and heats up. A lot of the material that makes up that tail comes from the rock and dust. Now you may have noticed that all the things needed to make a comet can be found right here on Earth. And that's not a coincidence. Scientists believe that when the Earth was still young, a number of comets may have hit the Earth and brought along with them some water and organic molecules such as amino acids, one of the building blocks of life. Here we have some flour which contains amino acids to fill our comet with organic molecules. Now our comet is almost done, but first we need to freeze it. Like I said before, comets are far away from the sun. They're so far away they might be as far away as Pluto or even beyond. Because of that, we need to freeze our comet by adding some dry ice. Now it's important when you're dealing with dry ice to make sure that you have gloves if you're going to be interacting with the ice. And this is going to take a while to completely freeze, so I'm just going to set that aside and take out a comet we made a little earlier. And here you go, it's a comet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.